Hello, crypto boys and ghouls, and welcome back to the channel, Tales from the Cryptmancer, where we feature content on play to earn games on the blockchain, such as Splinterlands. And in today's video, I want to do a step by step instruction for transferring assets from Hive Engine into the game, so into Splinterlands. So, if, for example, you bought a node license or a land plot or any other uh, tokenized asset from Splinterlands, uh, like totems or other things, on Hive Engine, and you want to bring them into the game, this is how you're going to do it. We're going to go through it step by step. And yeah, I want to give a shout out to Pluck from the Splinterlands team for helping me locate this information to share it with you today. So let's take a look at this article, which comes from the Splinterlands support uh, site and it talks about how to send assets from Hive Engine to Splinterlands in game and you can read the article but basically uh, I'll link it in the video description below so you have it for reference but basically what we want to do today is send assets from Hive Engine into uh, the game and it walks through the instructions and basically we're going to just follow the instructions and basically it says Go to Hive Engine, find the correct token type, hit the transfer icon, fill in this account name, which is very important. It's Steam Monsters, S T E E M M O N S T E R S, and then transfer the asset into the game. And it'll take about usually under 30 seconds, but it says up to three minutes. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's give it a try and see if it works. So we're gonna go into our wallet on Hive Engine here. And you can see here, uh, we have actually a validator license node in our wallet, as well as a land plot. So let's start by going to the land plot here. And let's transfer the land plot. So we go into transfer, this little arrow to the right button. We put in the Hive username, which is the Steam Monsters name. And then we enter the quantity, which is one. We leave the memo field blank and we hit transfer. It's going to ask you for your active key to sign that through Hive uh, keychain. We hit confirm and we wait. So we go into the game here. See, it says we have received one plot of land from SL Hive. We're going to go into our items tab. And you're going to see we have one land plot claim now in our inventory. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing for that validator node license. We're going to go back into our uh, wallet here. Let's refresh the wallet. And we're gonna see that we have no longer a land plot in here. We have a license token still. And we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna go transfer. We're going to enter the Hive username, which is Steam Monsters. And we're gonna enter the quantity, which is one. One license to transfer. We're gonna leave the memo field blank. We're going to click the transfer button. We're going to sign the transaction with our Hive keychain. And then we're going to wait. All right, let's check the game. It says received one license from SL Hive. Let's go into our items and double check. And we have a validator license balance as well as a land plot claim. So both of those uh, assets that we have purchased from Hive Engine are now in our in-game account. And we're set to earn vouchers here 
for example, from the validator node license, and land plots uh, will earn uh, SPS airdrops either inside Hive Engine or in the game, either way. So there you go. That is how you do it. It's very simple. It's just not intuitive. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to send your asset from your wallet to another account. But the way Splinterlands is doing it is basically once it hits uh, that Steam Monsters account, it then uh, transfers the asset that you send to that account into the Splinterlands game itself. So I, I know it doesn't seem intuitive, but it does work. That is the process. It is officially here on the support.splinterlands.com site. Again, I will link the full article so you can see it and read it and understand it. And then, yeah, give it a try for yourself if you have assets that you need to transfer into game. Again, I hope this video has been beneficial for you. If it has, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more timely updates on Splinterlands, and until next time, keep stacking those stats.